The senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Gabra Shil, joins us now on phone for more on this. Thank you very much for finding time to join us. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Apparently, time is of essence here. How long will it take the DSS to analyze this audio? Uh, they are working at their pace. Uh, it is important at this time that the father of our daughter, Lia Sharibu, has confirmed that this is the voice, this is the picture. That should help the DSS in the analysis they are doing. And I believe that they will be reverting to government any moment from now with the strategies that they themselves are recommending. Well, from what you have said, that uh, the government is waiting for the DSS to um, authenticate that um, vo audio recording. And uh, the next question is, when authenticated, what actions should we be expecting from the government? Well, the, 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 the DSS, you know, has been dealing with this matter all along. Uh, it is to them we owe the release of the 104, 105 of the girls uh, taken from Dapchi. They have been dealing with the terrorists at international you know, uh, support groups who are helping us in all of these matters. So it is to them we owe you know, an understanding of what next to do. They should uh, not only tell the government that they have confirmed this, they should be in a position to say these are the steps that need to be taken. So it's up to them. We are waiting to hear from them. The presidency has earlier promised that it will not sit on its oars as regards the release of Leah Sharibo. Can you tell us in clear terms what exactly the presidency, in collaboration with security agencies, are doing to make this a reality? Well, uh, the president's position is very clear on this matter. Nothing, absolutely nothing will, will be spared in getting... Leah and all of our girls who are being held by terrorists against their own will. Government will spare nothing, meaning, in essence, that whatever it will take, negotiation, armed attacks, or diplomacy, or exchange, whatever it is, the president is sparing no effort. And, uh, and we are waiting to, to get the clue and uh, uh, indications as to how next to proceed. Well, when we spoke to Leah's father earlier, he said nobody, no governmental organization, nobody has uh, gotten in touch with him since this incident. I would like to get your reaction to that. Well, I think it depends on at what time you spoke with him. Uh, I think the challenge is for our security services at the initial stage. But first of all, they needed to download the audio, the audio and, then, and then transcribe and understand it. These things have to be verified. In this country, in dealing with terrorists, there is nothing that is impossible. We are happy that this is proof of life of Yashiribu. We are absolutely happy. It, it, it could have been otherwise. So somebody has needed to be sure as to what they will ask the president of the election. I think this is where we are. Well, before we let you go, uh, there are reports making the rounds about uh, uh, U.S. President making a, a derogatory statement about uh, the president. We'd like to get your reaction to that. Oh, uh, I believe that the Minister of Information has responded to that. Uh, for us, uh, our understanding is that uh, this is essentially the president to have in the year. And, uh, he has spoken of other leaders in like manner. Perhaps in a worse situation. So we, we will take uh, issues with him, certainly not uh, for the president to do that. Well, thank you very much for your time on the news. We've been speaking with the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity.